Today we're going to be testing the Odin X1 golf ball. This is a three piece cast urethane cover golf ball with an 86 compression designed to compete with the likes of TaylorMade TP5, Callaway Chrome Soft, and of course the Titleist Pro V1, the big dog in the industry. Now, if you've not heard of Odin before, they are a direct to consumer golf ball manufacturer, much like Vice or Encore. You can purchase golf balls directly from their website, get special perks, and discounts, all that kind of cool stuff. But today we are testing what this golf ball can do out on the course. We're going to check out what the feel is like off the putter face, the spin that we're going to get off of short chips into the green and full wedge shots in the green, distance off the tee, and of course durability. I'm going to do a sand trap test to see if the cover will scuff up and nick up and if it can compete with the great cover of the Titleist Pro V1. Now let's head out to the course and put this ball to the test. All right, so these Odin golf balls actually have a really nice, pleasant sound when I strike them with my putter face. I've got the Rossi 2 with the Stronomic putter insert which is a much much older putter it's like from 1996 I'm gonna go ahead and put my little fuzzy microphone down here by the ball so you can hear what it sounds like so that was on about a five foot putt there so we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit of a longer putt and you can hear what the sound like for maybe like a lag shot All right, we're gonna do a little chipping test here with these Odin golf balls. Got the 58 degree here. We're gonna see how they do on these little short chips. All right, so not bad, not bad on the first shot there. So kind of getting like a one, two hop and stop, which I like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Got a good sound to them, uh, definitely a little clippy. As you can hear it. Would I call it a soft ball? I don't know, it's kind of in between soft and hard. Doesn't have a bad sound to it though, I don't think. All right, so, so far I'm very impressed with the feel off of the putter face for these Odin golf balls. Short chip shots do spin, more so than my current Gamer, which is surprising. Now we're gonna go ahead and test durability. One ball in the sand trap. I'm gonna hit out of the sand to see if the cover on this golf ball is going to scuff or nick up. So as you can see, after the durability test, we've got a little bit of some, some scuffing there from the sand and the wedge. The uh, paint came out of the eye in Odin. There's one other spot, so two, three little minor scuffs on the ball. I don't know that I'd be afraid to tee this up on the next hole, especially as a mid handicapper. Definitely not as stout as say a Pro V1 cover, but they're also not Pro V1 price, and I'm gonna get to price at the end of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out on the course and play a few holes with them. I've got my FlightScope Mevo uh, launch monitor, so I'm gonna be checking distance off of the tee. I'm also gonna be doing some uh, wedge shots into the green to see what kind of spin we get on those full wedge shots with these balls and see if this would actually replace my current gamer. All right, so now we're at the course portion of this. We're gonna go ahead and tee off with the Odin X1 cast urethane 86 compression golf ball. Got the flight scope Mevo set up to see what our distance is on this drive. I average around 270 with my current gamer, so if I'm anywhere near there, I'm gonna be super happy. That's if I get a good hit. So here we go. Big old fade out. Two seventy-five, though, so that's pretty good. All right, perfect. We're uh, in a fairway bunker here. Got about one hundred and fifty-five yards to the flag. I don't know if it's going to get there or not. It's somewhere to the left side of the green. All right, so a little short of the out of the fairway bunker. The Odin felt I don't know solid off the club face, not overly squishy. 
which some cast urethane golf balls can feel like that, especially these direct to consumer models. Far, I'm happy with that. We're gonna see if we can't go ahead and chip up and uh, get our par here. I was really happy with the green side spin that I got when I was practicing. The chip shots there at the practice screen. See, we can't convert that to the course here. Spin is really good, terrible shot. <laughs> Again, I really like the feel of this ball off of the putter face. Even on short putts, I really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, full wedge shots into the green. You're gonna see what kind of full spin we can get on these bad boys. Uh, right at the 100 yard marker here. Back here, that looks halfway decent. That one had some real good spin on it. So as you can see here, got some fairly decent spin off of those. I'd probably say that's about five to six feet there. Uh, probably about the same here, four feet maybe. And then about four feet. That last shot I hit definitely had more spin on it than these other two. But I'm pretty impressed with that for the uh, Odin X1. There you have it guys, the review of the Odin X1. We talked about feel, we talked about spin, we talked about power off the tee, durability. Let's talk about price. Right now you can get a dozen of these bad boys for $34.99 direct from the Odin site. If you purchase from the Odin site, you can get perks and, and discounts and stuff. It's pretty cool, you guys should check it out if you're interested. I like this ball so much, I'm gonna swap it out for my gamer uh, to see if the uh, durability will hold up. That was the one thing that I thought that this ball might have an issue with is durability, and I'm a mid-handicapper, so uh, at the price point of $34.99 for a dozen golf balls, cast urethane, uh, it's got good spin, good distance off the tee. I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and game it. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down in the description below. You can check Odin out for yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on swinging.